might as well uh, document as well that they just let him back in. Yeah. Paul just walked down there and the guard came out and uh, seemingly let him back in. They had some conversation. I couldn't tell what they were saying. So uh, while we were in there, I mean, there's we had Ian and myself agreed not to publish the footage that we got once we were onto the property of the checkpoint. Yeah, this is, it's weird. And there, there's like stuff in them too, no, but, but they're closed. Jean Baptiste Day oh. is tomorrow, but. Uh... I guess that's like a really big thing here, maybe. I don't, it's a, it sounds like a. a maybe it's holiday. like a weekend thing or a three day, day thing. So this is Rock Island area. This place might be open. Yeah, there's someone in there. Huh? This place is open. open. Yep, open. This looks like an ice cream place. All these things are without borders, but there's very much a border here. So while we were in there, uh, the head agent in charge came down, talked to us, and said there was no filming on the property you permitted. Can go on ahead if you want to. We're good. Uh, by we're good, do you mean you guys are going to be staying there a while, or you'll be getting out of there soon? Yeah, we're going to be down real soon, yes. Ten four. We are just up the street a little ways. Are they getting out soon? Yeah, they said they were. Oh, good. All right, so we were showed a um, a piece of paper that said like what you're authorized to film if you get permission, and it was still limited. It still said that you couldn't identify agents, you couldn't zoom in on toll booths or the toll booths, oh, the checkpoint the booths, and it said you couldn't um, also identify passengers, vehicles, identifying info, pretty much for anything. So it sounds like you can get permission to film at those checkpoints, but you're very limited in what you can disclose about the checkpoints. Um, and yeah, that's, it's, uh, sounds, they made it seem like they were very nice for authorities with guns uh, compared to Americans. In fact, we saw, there's a lot of things that would have been interesting to document, like Border Patrol agent giving a dog a treat that was coming across the border. Um, we were the people that were detained the longest. Everyone that's come through went through fairly quickly. Everyone else seemed to have passports. We did not present passports. We only had uh, licenses that we used as IDs. Ian did try to use a world passport. That was denied. He was asked for, or wasn't, they said they are going to need more identification, so he presented his driver's license. He's still being held, but allegedly will be out shortly.